Many are calling it the Uber of shipping. Rody is an app allowing you to link up with average drivers like you and me, willing to shuttle your products across town or even across state lines. Drivers pack in some side cash while consumers save money. 7 Action News reporter Amira David spoke with the founder and CEO about why he believes this is the future. Driving in the car? Likely not your first rodeo, but how about making some extra cash while doing it? That's what Atlanta-based Roadie is now offering. It's essentially matching up people or businesses with things to send with drivers that are already going in the right direction. So whether you're heading to work or headed across the country, owner Mark Gorland says you simply pick up the product and drop it off to a destination on your way. 80% of the transaction goes directly into the driver's pocket, something resonating here in Michigan, where 1,300 drivers are already signed up. Benefits to the consumer? Also huge. On deliveries to friends and family, you could save up to 30 to 50% off. We've delivered everything from keys, cupcakes, couches, and kittens. The service even coming in handy for those awkward goodbyes. We've delivered exes breakup items that they didn't want to go see their ex again, so they, they, they wrote a couple trash bags of their former flame stuff. For consumers who need to get a product to someone fast without paying the high fees, or for drivers looking to give purpose to an otherwise meaningless commute, Gorlin says this is a game changer. Nearly 250 million people get in their cars every day and go somewhere, whether it's in town or across the country. It's more vehicles than UPS, FedEx, and the post office combined. So why not take where you're going, help somebody out, and make some money going and doing what you were already going to do that day anyway? So what do you think? Would you use the Roadie app? We want to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments for us on our WXYZ Facebook page. For now, I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Amira,